The next time you hear someone try to classify the tri-state as flyover country, consider this. More and more startups are coming here to get their businesses off the ground. And as Local 12 Sydney Benter found out, many of them are sticking around even after they've made it. Frank Duvenek stands at the center of the city where he first learned to paint. His innovative style had international appeal. Now another movement is happening around him. Startups like Social Arcade are flocking to the tri-state. Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati is what, what really kind of attracted us. They have very good accelerators here. Obviously, Uptech, there's a brandery in Ohio. There are 19 in what's been dubbed the Innovation District in Covington. One, two, three. three. The city is celebrating the entrepreneurial spirit along a street that until tonight had no name. This alley is the only alley in Covington without a name. And so given what's happening somewhat organically, this has become a bit of an innovation hub. We thought, well, what better thing to do than to christen the alley, Innovation Alley? In many ways, it's a sign of the times, and they are a change in. The cool thing is, is that these ideas are now coming from the business community and our neighborhood leaders, and they're loving it. And so I don't think we can do things fast enough right now. Start off with our surveys that look like games. Natasia Malahalo came from L.A. to get her company wiser off the ground. We received a lot of support from investors, from the community. It wasn't in her business plan. So we just kind of decided to stay. Seems the Ohio Valley is giving Silicon Valley a run for its money. People are willing to help, I have lots of mentors. They're willing to give you, you know, five, ten minutes of your time where they're a bit more aggressive on, on both coasts, you know, San Francisco, in the Valley, or in New York. In Covington, Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. And the new Innovation Alley is between Washington Avenue and Russell Street in